historically, um, Paul and I share the same manager. And so, you know, going back to, to sort of the time after Paul's death, um, you know, it was anything that involved the Paul Hunter name, you know, I wanted to be involved in it to try and keep his memory alive and make sure he's remembered favourably. And the Paul Hunter Foundation is a, a foundation I've done a lot of work with. We're always looking at ways to perhaps raise the profile, uh, raise some money for a very, very worthy cause. Fantastic turnout of players. I think it will probably grow if we did it again. Loads of goodwill, great people, great camaraderie, and from our perspective, we've raised a few quid, but more importantly, you know, sowed the seeds that perhaps it will grow and get bigger if we do it year upon year. It's made a massive contribution to our sport in the way that we are developing the grassroots and providing that opportunity for people that wouldn't have, other, uh, have had the chance to take up a sport. And I know Paul, in his, in his last few days, he wanted to leave that behind. He recognised that in his short life that this sport had given him an opportunity in life and he wanted to pass that opportunity on to other people. And certainly I think he would be very proud to see some of the work that's been done here. Yes, I had a, a few things that were, um, one was a, a limited edition print, which was very nice, uh, that I, I've still got some, uh, from, they're back from the 80s. Jesus Christ, you're young there, Steve. Um, and together, I thought that was a great thing that was put uh, by the golf club, made that into a, a very special trophy, a very special item, with a golf ball signed by each one of the players. Uh, 325, 350, 375. I thought you played fantastic today, I thought you played great. 375, you were the best player in our team. No, I don't want to f*** up, but 375. I did uh, keep my t-shirt from the jungle and I got all of the people that were also in the jungle with me to sign it. Uh, so that was made and put into a frame and that's a very nice piece as well. This is actually the shirt he wore in the jungle. It smells a bit trick but don't worry about that. Woody Thorne is a, a great uh, auctioneer. He really does do his job and, he, and of course he's, he saw me in the crowd there and started picking on me as, a, as a, the worst golfer in the room. He said to his partners, I haven't played like this before. His partners said, you've played before. <laughs> So he did struggle a little bit, he had hit two good balls all day, he stood on a rake. You know, he has had a bit of a trouble out there. From our perspective, we're, we're pleased that Willie's here because he's, uh, he's a great asset for a golf day. On here are all the balls that are signed by every professional snooker player that played today. And even Peter, who did play golf today, is signed up. Mr. Evans, thanks for the screen. <laughs> did he play golf? Did he play golf? Did he play golf? Have you played? Yes, yes. Oh, sorry. Yes, yes. I, I thought he just arrived because I saw you come in with a cue. No. Oh, sorry, no. This is the first trophy I've won since 1963, so I'm absolutely delighted to win. Hopefully, continue. Yeah, hopefully I can take this confidence and go and win a snooker tournament again now. The lads carried me round the course today, you know, played really well. I think the conditions were really good, you know, the course was lovely. Um, it's quite wet, you know, around certain uh, areas of the course, but the greens were in fantastic condition, especially for winter golf, and we just had a lot of fun today. It was really good, and it was nice to win as well. Go on. You know, it does send it home to you when somebody who you play with week in, week out and gets a terrible illness and, and passes away, you know. So, yeah, yeah, we it, it, it were very good, yeah. And it were excellent when we were on, yeah. The day overall, it's been fantastic meeting some of the stars, all the snooker stars around, good atmosphere to the day. It's been great banter here all day, we've had a great crack and I hope, it, I hope it happens again. I'll absolutely play again and hopefully they'll do it again next year and make it a, an annual event. If there was one event per year I'd turn out for, it would be this. Oh, no, I like to be doing. Oh, I'm stuck, I'm fine. Nearly got that on camera.